Okay, first update we did, uh, Philip and I, and uh, even last week we had Robert to slow us down with the ideas. Yeah, well. I mean, we had him babysit today. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. Let's let social services deal with him. <laughs> You're mean. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> you didn't deserve that. Okay, we had a f still a few issues with the uh, the grinder that we have to address as we go. Uh, first issue was the uh, the braking device for the uh, the wheel that turns the uh, the carriage right uh, right and left. Um, this uh, I'll show I'll show um, close ups of that. But this uh, clamping device was kind of a pretty worn, uh, not the right diameter anymore. Just like it's been. Retighten a little bit, reboard, and uh, I'll show you. I'll show you more details. Okay, it's been it's been machined, but I'll explain. Uh, I'll explain what we did because the the brake for the x-axis shaft uh, uh, was kind of a worn. You know, like uh, it w wasn't one. This has uh, been cut, but it wasn't one piece. And whenever you uh, turn the handle there to make it tight, it would just go tight, and uh, there was not enough meat there to uh, rub on the shaft and. Uh, make a decent uh, you know decent break so what we had to do is we uh, had a saw cut this part in two split it uh, this already added a little bit of a, a little bit of space after that we went and uh, got a you know a few thousand make that regular also uh, <coughs> left this part there and from this to this this is minus uh, 50 thousandths you know uh, this is this is where we were getting our space, fifty thousands on each side, hundred thousand, and uh, we had to rebore this bore in the center because it was kind of an oblong and uh, irregular shape, and wanted something that uh, will match the shaft as good as possible. Uh, one thing we had to do is get the center of this line there and center it to the center of the shaft too because you don't want to uh, have something that was going to be off center or just pulling on the shaft on one side or the other so it had to be measured and centered and to make a uh, hole inside there we use the uh, boring head on the uh, milling machine this is a uh, 100,000 gauge block put it in there keep it tight and bore the head now we got a nice, uh, a nice regular part, and this little aluminum plate there in the back. Uh, sorry, maybe you didn't see that. We uh, made holes, tapped holes, and made the uh, little plate there to uh, get this there. And Philip pretty, uh, pretty much did lots of the work on this one. He's pretty, uh, he's getting pretty good at that. waiting for the flower pot I'm just waiting for the flower pot to show up he's right there he's <laughs> listening at me <laughs> it's another it's another Tuesday I won't laugh at the the meat on the shaft thing but that's okay it's uh, it's lost in translation and we're ready to put it back together yeah oh yeah well to uh, to make uh, the two halves which didn't used to be or not two halves all together we uh, drilled and tapped uh, with aluminum plate in the back and in order to to get the shaft through there the screws have to be loose so we uh, drilled and tapped a couple holes in the side where we can uh, access the uh, two screws and put some set screws as uh, plugs so uh, junk doesn't get in yeah so because we had no room to uh, to use an allen key under the under the table here we can access to put the two halves together you know, by hand on underneath there, but we got no uh, no access for uh, okay. Tying right. it up. We need to put this back. We need to put this back. Okay. Me or you? So, oh, I'll uh, right. give give me my chance of scrapping it. My turn. Okay. Well, <laughs> fine. <laughs> as, long as, as long as I don't get shafted. Yeah. Inside joke. Come on, Junior. Uh, there are needle bearings in there. Uh, slow as the uh, wiggle, wiggle. 
Well, you're making it through. So is the word. Sure, it's is not uh, too yeah. tight, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fine. Okay. It'll be fine. Okay, let's go on in. The middle of the shaft is a uh, no bear, no bearing uh, way or anything like that. So uh, there you go. There we go. This is going in very smoothly. So brake portions done. Now we're turning, and about. Uh, Half a turn, solid, solid. It doesn't, it doesn't move. That's going to be very uh, solid too, very sturdy. Yeah. There we go. Nice and slow. We also had a little issue with the uh, the, the cable mechanism, the uh, Woodruff key there, and uh, the slot into the the wheel. They weren't fitting very good, so there was like a. A backlash in there which is not uh, appropriate when you want to dress up your wheel because this is the one this is the, uh, the where you block your uh, <laughs> this is where you block your uh, your X uh, X and Y uh, uh, X X uh, X movement and now this has been addressed with a nice new nice new key made to measure and uh, this is going to be very uh, very sturdy very solid so this part done then uh, replacing the wear bands uh, we got some uh, blued spring steel the uh, the boss of USA the spring boss. steel uh -huh, funny huh cut <laughs> <laughs> okay we got the spring steel from McMaster we got a uh, well, lower roll uh, this you know we just got to length get the high spots off and what we need we need a little slot like this here for the showing the uh, yeah both ends to be able to just uh, hold it on the uh, on the ways um, with screws and uh, it has to be a little bit of an adjustment so it can move while uh, it expands or whatever so mm. it doesn't roll uh, like a, a wave in the sea okay Philip did something explain Oh, that, so it's going to be my fault if it doesn't work? No, it's not going to be your fault. It's going to work. <laughs> and explain. Okay, we just uh, made up um, a couple of blocks with the slot made in it. And uh, just a small registering. If you guys can see that. Just a small little notch in it so the uh, steel registers against it and falls in the proper location. So that way we will be able to pinch the steel between the two blocks and machine the slot in exactly the right spot. Ready? Yep. And the way we install it, this is narrow end. We just make a loop. Both ends just uh, in the uh, in the holder, and we're going to uh, mill it. We'll change the uh, approach on the uh, making this uh, this slot in the uh, in. In the, uh, in the foils, uh, I, I was starting with the uh, two fluted uh, high, sp high speed uh, end mill, and uh, you know, this could center drill and everything, but that was kind of a little hard. And uh, we'll uh, change the, uh, the approach with uh, carbide drill, we'll be spinning about 1800 RPMs, and also we'll be uh, using from uh, Dennis Nolan. This is a uh, TIC encoded uh, nice end mill, 316 shaft. So with the collet, will be just pretty uh, pretty well matched, and uh, that'll be easier. Let's uh, let's proceed uh, right away. But there, protect the the sides of this. Okay, center drilling. Okay, the stuff is pretty, uh, that's pretty hard. And uh, let's uh, change the collet. And mm, you want to spare your uh, end mills, your drills, your whatever. Put a rag underneath because when they fall, you break all the ends. And you want to spare your fingers, get them with the rag. 
Uh, now, with this uh, four, uh, four fluted uh, carbide end mill, it's got a 171.8 uh, diameter and but the shank is 316 so it avoids the collet change with the, the drill bit so uh, I'm going to be using this and since we need a little wider I'm going to be going one one direction complete uh, opening and one side 10 mil ten thousandths one side ten thousandths and that will be the complete slot same speed 1600 rpms this okay ten in one direction into the other end. Going back to the start. There we go. Okay, this is uh, just passing my fingers on them like this. Just about no deburring to do. And these makes pretty uh, pretty clean starts. Okay, to keep up with the update a little bit. Uh, my friend Philip, uh, you know, if you got a friend like Philip, just uh, take care of him, don't lose him. Uh, he, you know, kind of spent some of his time in uh, helping me reorganizing. The surface grinder is now on the floor. It, uh, it's probably going to be its final destination. Needs to be, uh, you know, a few, a few repairs on it, but it will be soon operational. Will be, need to be leveled up. And, uh, we kind of moved a few things like this uh, shop press or for the handheld it has been installed on casters so we'll uh, ease up the uh, you know the movement of the equipment in the shop um, this saw this metal saw 712 uh, metal saw is also on casters so it'll be easier to move and uh, the box break, the 36 inches box break here. This is uh, going to be installed on better casters, and uh, as you know, the need will uh, show up when the, I, knew, I need to use those things. They'll be easier to move and the use of the uh, you know the available floor space and get organized better. So uh, that's about uh, that's about the update and. We're keeping on the uh, keeping on the grinder. We should be like uh, should be coming up soon. I'm anxious to uh, put it back in commission because uh, it's been a year or two that it hasn't been used. And, uh, a few a few jobs are uh, to be done on this, and it's still a good grinder with the uh, with the updates and the uh, the few repairs will be uh, will be much better. So keep on uh, keep on watching, keep on uh, following. Just uh, say you like. Just comment and uh, hey, subscribe helps me uh, and uh, all the other producers. You know, it's uh, it's a fuel to better videos and uh, better content. So, see you soon.